it's both as exhausting and not as exhausting I th as I thought it would be. It's uh, I think because it's so brilliantly written, the language has this kind of energy of its own that kind of buoys you up and kind of fuels you. So, and it's one of the, another one of those plays that you can't kind of go half-hearted at. It's kind of all or nothing really. If you duck out of it, you're going to be found out. It's not like one of those plays where you can kind of sidle up to. You have to kind of commit everything Bites to. Bites the hell right through his face, snaps again for a better grip and shakes him round on a rubbery neck tearing. Comes away with a piece of red and white It's milk. two men, two uh, nights, evenings, days in their lives, the kind of life-defining periods of their lives, hours of their lives. And it's about how their fates collide and how their identities counterpoint and coalesce and dovetail and uh, yeah about fate and identity and destiny it's very funny as well it makes it sound very heavy but it's a very funny play I trust him things will be okay hard to trust when I'm bricking but then he saved me today saved me bacon and I got an email from my agent to say that what part did they want me to play either how or the rookie and he said I think it's both I kind of nearly had a heart attack and I yeah uh, I just realising the size of the challenge, you know, uh, but it's been, from that point to this, it's been an amazing journey and continues to be an amazing journey. So we finished filming uh, Love, Hate on a Friday and then we started rehearsing on the Monday. So it was an amazing opportunity to test your skill in terms of um, changing the optics of performance from screen to, to, to the stage. The Very good, we say, our heads all windswept. Very good. Funny things were probably in a more dangerous position than Ginger Boy. Two of us hanging out the side door, swerved to avoid a one, two, three bus. But that's what you want as an actor to be tested and stretched and to have your technique uh, examined and challenged. And, and that's been a really great opportunity as well to see how quickly you can shift between the two. Stop watching them get on, doing a dance, a shimmy shuffle of indecision, left to right and back, doesn't know whether to follow or wait. So wait, let us out, Blanding, give us some fresh air. you can make the mistake, air. understandable mistake of wanting to second guess what a writer or, or a director wants from you. I think the most important thing is to have your own choice and commit to it and make offers in the rehearsal room and then you mould and shape it with the director and with Mark as the writer, obviously. Um, and so he, you know, it's very funny to see in rehearsals who was the right, which, where were the writer stopped and the director began and and he was br he's brilliant at both actually and so he uh uh to to be to work with him in that way in the room a kind of a back and forth i would make an offer and he'd go no that's crap or he would go no that really works and to be just part of that process was really gorgeous really special